Hare 
放四个角。啊，放四个角，放过那个角。两个，两个放那边吗？放Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nityanamane Namaste Sarasati Devi Kauravani Pricharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschacha Deshatarine Vancha Kaupata Rubyasya Kripa Sindhu Bhayevata Patita Nama Bhanevyo Vaishnavedyo Nama Nama Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasa Dikor Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama So on Friday will be Jagannath Rathi Yatra Festival. Lord Jagannath, along with his brother and sister, will reappear and they will be put on their chariots and will have a nice procession. So the idea is to bring Lord Jagannath to Vrindavan. Kurukshetra is important for two things. One thing was that Krishna spoke the Bhagavad Gita there. And the second thing is that the first Rathiyatra began there. So the Rathiyatra, we may not understand how Rathiyatra actually began at Kurukshetra. But it happened that there was a solar eclipse and Lord Krishna decided to go to Kurukshetra all the way from Dwarka. He came to Kurukshetra along with his wives and all of his family members. And he brought all the great sages also came there. So, on the occasion of a solar eclipse, it's customary that people go to a holy place and they will perform sacrifice and they'll give charity. So knowing that Lord Krishna was coming back with all of his family members, the great sages also assembled there and they were eager to perform sacrifices. And Lord Krishna 
knowing that he was going to go to Kurukshetra, he planned, he, earlier he sent a messenger to go to Vrindavan and tell all the gopis that they should also come. Previously, when Lord Krishna had gone to Mathura, at that time, the cowherd boys had gone there to Mathura and the gopis all stayed in Vrindavan. So, uh, Lord Krishna said, this time, gopis should come to Kurukshetra and the cowherd boys have to stay back. Somebody has to stay back, take care of the cows and the children and all the things. So the gopis all came there from Vrindavan to Kurukshetra and they're meeting Lord Krishna after a long time. Previously, Lord Krishna had been a cowherd boy in Vrindavan. But now, Krishna has come from Dwarka, and he's a prince in Dwarka. And previously in Vrindavan, Krishna had been married. But now he's coming from Dwarka. He's married, he's brought all his wives. <laughs> yeah, all the children. So everybody's come, it, it's quite different. Previously, Lord Krishna had been in Vrindavan as a coward boy. He would decorate himself with the, the natural things of the forest, like peacock feathers and mango twigs and made flowers from the Kadamba tree, and things which were available there in Vrindavan. But now he's coming from Dwarka, he's a prince, and there's no more flute, and there's no peacock feather. Instead, he's got the dress of a prince. He's got a nice silk cloth and uh, very nice attire like a prince would wear. And the gopis, they were used to knowing Krishna in Vrindavan. In Vrindavan, there was simply the Yamuna River, and there was the cows, and the peacocks, and the, uh, the different parrots there in Vrindavan, and the deer, a very natural, peaceful environment. And of course there's also the Govardhan Hill and the, the all the Tosis are there and all the people of Vrindavan. But now is Krishna is in Kurukshetra. And Kurukshetra there are so many soldiers. There's so many chariots moving back and forward. And there's elephants. And the different soldiers are all moving about back and forward. 
然后还有很多的士兵不停的来回的移动着。So it's, it's very not very noisy. 非常的就是吵。It's very not like Vrindavan at all. 一点也不像 Vrindavan. And Krishna is not like he was in Vrindavan. And so when the gopis saw Krishna coming from Dwarka like this, they thought, "This is not the Krishna we know." So the gopis decided, "We have to take Krishna back to Vrindavan." And this was the first Rathiyatra. This was the origin of Rathiyatra. Five hundred years ago, there was a solar eclipse, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he also went to Kurukshetra. Kurukshetra is a special place because the gopis feel special separation from Krishna. They can see Krishna, but they can't just go and talk to him. Because Krishna has got all of his wives with him. So the gopis feeling intense separation. 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 So the gopis The main temple represents Dwarka. And he goes to the Gundicha temple. Gundicha represents Vrindavan. If you go to the Jagannath Puri Rathiyatra, you'll see how the deities come out of the main temple at Jagannath Puri. And they're put on the chariot, and they're pulled down the road for a few kilometers to the Gundicha temple. Of course, the day before the Rathiyatra, they have the Gundicha Marjana festival. So Friday is the Rathi Atra, so Thursday will be the Gundicha Marjana festival. So Gundicha means the heart. And Marjana means to clean. We have to clean the heart very carefully. Just like the temple. Also, that the temple is also Gundicha. You have to clean it very thoroughly. There's a lot of dust around. We have to clean everything out. Clean it once, and then clean it again. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would personally take part in this festival every year. And he would praise the devotees. Oh, you have done very well. You have collected so much dust and dirt. And if the, some devotee had not collected much, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would tell him. You, you, you're not collecting very much. What were you doing? So he, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would personally take off his own cloth and use his own cloth to clean the temple. 
主持人的妈妈，他们会亲自拿着自己的衣服，用自己的衣服来清洁庙宇。And there would be so much water would be flowing like a river through the temple. 会有很多的水，就像是河流一样，从庙里流淌出来。And、so the Gondisha festival is the day before Rath Yatra. And then the next day we bring the deity Lord Jagannath there. Then the next day we bring the deity Lord Jagannath there. Then the next day we bring the deity Lord Jagannath there. Then the next day we bring the deity Lord Jagannath there. Then the next day we bring the deity Lord Jagannath there. Then the next day we bring the deity Lord Jagannath there. Then the next day we bring the deity Lord Jagannath there. Then the next day we bring the deity Lord Jagannath there. Then the next day we bring the deity Lord Jagannath there. Then the next day we bring the deity Lord Jagannath there. Then the next day we bring the deity Lord Jagannath there. Then the next day we bring the deity Lord Jagannath there. 所以谭车节这个节日的意思就是要把主归神的带到主家的那带到稳达稳。Bringing him to his home. 把他带到自己的家。To see all his old friends, all the cowherd boys. 看他的朋友们，所有的这些牧牛仆们。Mother and father, Mother Yashoda, Nanda Maharaj, all the gopis, everyone is there. 当然还有他的父亲、母亲、Yashoda 妈妈、Nanda Maharaj， 所有的牧牛仆、牧牛姑娘们都在。But when Lord Jagannath leaves, he's left his wife there in Dwarka. 但是当主加布纳的离开的时候，他把自己的妻子留在了 Dwarka. So his wife is the goddess of fortune. 他的妻子是幸运女神。So after a few days, she becomes restless. And she comes out from the temple. And she is dressed in very opulent clothing with many jewelry. And she is carried on a palanquin by all of her assistants. And they take her to Gundicha. And this is the festival called Hera Panchami. This festival is called Hera Panchami. Hera Panchami. It means the fifth day. Hera Panchami means the fifth day. The Panchami means the fifth day. So actually, it's four days from Rathyatra. Panchami means the fifth day. So all the uh, it, it's a, 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 a very nice festival which takes place. The devotees all come to watch it. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would enjoy to see this festival perform. So the goddess of fortune comes with all of her men, and when they get to Gundicha, then they arrest all of the servants of Lord Jagannath. 幸运女神带着她的人来到了工地上，然后他们逮捕逮捕了主家的那个全体族人。And they bring them before the goddess of fortune, and they get them to bow down and to offer obeisances and to be very humble before the goddess of fortune. 然后把这些主家的那个仆人带到幸运女神的面前，让他们顶拜，让他们在幸运女神的面前变得非常的谦卑。And the goddess of fortune then will question them, why you didn't bring my husband back? My husband's come here, and you're keeping him. You've not brought him back yet. So Lord Jagannath is inside. This is taking place outside at the door of the Gundicha temple. So Lord Jagannath inside. He sends a message to the goddess of fortune. So、don't worry, I'm coming after a few days. You go home and wait. So in this way, the goddess of fortune is not very happy, but she has no choice. She has to accept the words of her husband. And then, after the one week is over, then Lord Jagannath comes back from Gundicha. So Rathyatra festival is like this. There's a prey the first day, and then the deity is there at Gundicha. It will, will be there for a week, and then after one week, then there's the return Rathyatra where Jagannath is.
。首先有一个游行，大家到统一去，然后主加拿大在那待一周之后呢，再有抓他的返回。So this is what happens at the different Jaina temples. 这就是在加拿大的庙所发生的事情。The devotees, different centers around India, they're performing Rathi Yatra festival. They try to do in a similar manner. Put on the Rathi Yatra parade one day, and then they get to a place, and they'll be there for a week, and they'll have programs every day. And after a week, then they will have the return round the So it's a very big festival, very important festival. We should all try to take part in it to some extent. So, uh, many places around uh, this area, they're having Rafi at the festival. Of course, there'll be the fest some festival here in Mayapur. There'll be a festival, a big festival in Calcutta. There's also a festival in Habipur. There's a festival in Durgapur. There's a festival in Kauyanji. There are many festivals. Mauda also has a festival. So, many different centers. Uh, I wanted to speak about uh, Bhagavad Gita, the first chapter of Bhagavad Gita. In our English edition of the Bhagavad Gita, Prabhupada has given it the title uh, Observing the Army on the Battlefield of Purification. But the, the Sanskrit title, which is the original title of the first chapter, is called Arjuna Vishada Yoga. <coughs> means Arjuna's, the, the yoga of Arjuna's dejection. Arjuna is dejected because why is he dejected? Because he does not see the loving feeling, he does not see the unity between the family members. That although the Kurus and Dhritarashtra and his 100 sons headed by Duryodhan are all from the one family of the Pandavas, like the Pandavas, they're all Kurus, but there's no unity between them. Because Dhritarashtra and his 100 sons, 
他们是库族的人，帕达瓦也是库族的人，可是在这一家人里却没有一种团结。Arjuna sees them all as one, one family. Arjuna sees all of them as one family. But Dhritarashtra doesn't see them. Because Dhritarashtra didn't look at that thing. In the first verse of the Bhagavad Gita, Dhritarashtra said, "The Bhagavad Gita, the first chapter, Dhritarashtra said, 'The first verse of the Dharma Kshetri Kuru Kshetri Sama Veda Yudhisthava.'" Mama ka pandavas chaiva kin akurvata pandava. So he said, Mama ka, Mama ka pandavas chaiva. He says, My sons and the sons of Pandu. Vichurastra said, Mama ka pandavas chaiva. Means is my sons and the Pandu king's sons. So Dhritarashtra, in the very beginning of the Bhagavad Gita, makes a distinction between his sons and the sons of Pandu. And he's asking Sanjay, what did they do being desirous to Pandu? So, Arjuna, he's not thinking like that. Arjuna, he will not think like that. Arjuna, he's thinking that we're all one family. Why are we fighting? Arjuna, he's thinking that we're all one family. Why are we fighting? Arjuna, he's thinking that we're all one family. Why are we fighting? Arjuna, he's thinking that we're all one family. Why are we fighting? We cannot make distinction. We're thinking friends and enemies. That is the bodily conception of life. The bodily, con the bodily conception, just like Prahlad Maharaj was always speaking to his father. He was telling his father that we should see everyone equally. Don't think friends and enemies. Prolaj Guru Kula teachers were te teaching him how to deal with his enemies. But Prahlad wasn't thinking that they were enemies. Prahlad was thinking we're all one, we're all friends. Prahlad was encouraging his father to see, to see the unity between people, not to divide people. If we are thinking friend and enemy, this is the nature of the mind to distinguish We think this is good, this is bad, this is my friend, this is my enemy, I like this, I don't like that. This is all what we describe as monodot, the business of the mind. But Arjuna, he's dejected to see this kind of mentality. But that dejection of Arjuna, that is his qualification to hear the Bhagavad Gita. Arjuna is chosen by Krishna to receive this knowledge of Bhagavad Gita. 
We could say, why didn't Krishna speak Bhagavad Gita to Dhritarashtra? Or why didn't he speak it to Duryodhana and all his, all of his brothers? But they didn't have the qualification of Arjuna. They were in the bodily conception. Arjuna is dejected to see this conflict between the family members. There should be a cooperation between people. We should all be united as one family. Arjuna wanted that. He wanted that we're all Kurus. Why make distinctions? Dhritarashtra, though, he was saying, Pandava, Mamaka, Pandavas Chaiva, my son and the sons of so because Arjuna was dejected to see this conflict between the, the family, this was his qualification for hearing the Bhagavad Gita. And he's ready to inquire, he wants to hear, to understand more. And Lord Krishna is ready to speak. So we need to develop that kind of compassion, compassion for others, not just for ourselves. Don't be selfish. Be selfless. Care about people. We do care. And just like, you know, the, the conflict in, with Russia and Ukraine, many devotees have been helping, sending funds to help people who are refugees. And many devotees, whenever there's a disaster, some kind of serious problem, devotees like to help, they like to do something. During this pandemic, devotees in Delhi did huge prasadam distribution. They were distributing tens of thousands of plates of prasadam every day. It was a big operation. They organized it very, very efficiently. They had many coats arranged, and they had fleets of motorbikes with special containers to keep the food hot, to take it to different parts of Delhi to distribute food. To and people knew this is Hare Krishna, this is Prasada. So, devotees were the well wishers of all, all living entities. We can get up all living entities. Even the low insects, we want them to get a better part. Everybody can be helped by Krishna consciousness. And Prabhupada taught us even we should offer our respects even to insects. 
Sometimes we don't always think about that. But that should be our mind. We're very fortunate to have Krishna consciousness. And we want to distribute Krishna consciousness as much as possible. So this, this yadiya we're doing today, this is not initiation or anything, we're just doing this for for the spiritual benefit of the devotees everywhere. One devotee requested us to do this yagya so to help her, to help her improve her health. We, we don't know if it helps or not, but we try. Sacrifice is performed for the pleasure of Vishnu. Work done as a sacrifice for Vishnu has to be performed. Lord Krishna says in the third chapter of Bhagavad Gita. And if that work is not done as a sacrifice for Vishnu, then it binds one to the law of karma. We have to act. We have to do some kind of activities, so do them for the pleasure of Vishnu. All right, are there any questions? Rajendra Prabhu? The devotees should be compassionate to the, all the other living entities. But my question is, should we uh, show our compassion under like circumstances? We have to think about time, place, and circumstances. In circumstances, it's not unconditionally. We show our compassion to all the living entities. Yes, everything has to be according to our ability. Some people were able to be more compassionate. Some people may have less physical ability. But the compassion is the mood of the heart, that feeling of caring for others. It's not just simply giving something, but it's a feeling of actually caring about others. We ourselves may have very little ability to do anything to help people. But we can have feelings in our heart that we feel compassion for them, we feel sorry for them. And the best thing we can give them is the holy name of Krishna. So by chanting the holy name, we're able to help everyone. It doesn't have to cost us anything. But everyone has a tongue, we can vibrate the holy name. And just by vibrating the holy name, they can give the greatest benefit to the whole planet.